Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of the ultimate road to glory and in today's episode I've done a little bit of extra trading. I've also put together the La Liga side that I was talking about mixed in with some Premier League players. Now my advice is if you can pick up some Premier League players for quite cheap, they're all going to go up in price come Friday. Maybe not the ones with 30 odd pace but pick up players that you think that you would like to use and they should because the release in the UK is on Friday and everyone that supports the Premier League and watches it they're going to be wanting to build their preferred team or just a Premier League side. I've also uh, started to complete the manager task. I think I've done every single one. Yeah, task completed 14 of 14 and I think if I remember rightly, I did this on my main account and I actually received a really nice pack. So with going shopping, I'm going to claim that I had to go and buy a consumable. That was glitched by the way. I purchased one for the start price at 150 and I put it into my club. It didn't activate it. So then I had to go and bin one. So they need to patch that. Otherwise, if you don't have too many coins, you can't complete the manager task. But then the last one is to change the club name and I accidentally switched up the abbreviation originally it was ufc but now it's ult which uh, just looks a little bit stupid and we're stuck with that now thanks ea but anyway claim our pack this is just a bronze one so after we open this we get ourselves an awesome gold pack i think it's two players or three rares also the squad building challenges i've gone and I had a try with those. I'm missing a couple of players for the third one. But what we receive are only bronze players. So I doubt it's going to really be uh, beneficial for our side. But let's unlock that 100 coins. That's perfect. Thank you very much. We're on 15,685 coins. I'm going to store all this stuff into the club. Because those contracts, fitness, training and those players will come in handy for the squad building challenges. So that's awesome. And if we go back... Where's our pack? Oh, well done. You've completed all the manager tasks as a reward. One premium gold pack is waiting in my pack section. One premium gold pack. Seriously, we could get a huge player in this. I actually have a feeling that we're going to get someone maybe linked to the Serie A or Bundesliga. That's my shout. Go on, please. Just give me some pack luck for once. Oh, my. It's... Stanchu. Stanchu is the person that it's given me. I don't believe it. Out of a premium gold pack, not no rares, no rare players. No, no, not at all. That is awful. Oh, he doesn't look too bad, actually. I will take that. I did say Bundesliga, and we do have ourselves a very nice centre-back. Six foot, medium, medium work rates, good defending, good physical, nice pace. Uh, right wing to right forward will come in handy i actually need that as well but i don't really like applying consumable cars because we can in fact sell that for maybe how much is it going for let me quickly check that it's untradeable anyway ignoring that pack it doesn't matter all untradeable items are going to help us along the way in building the ultimate team but check in the transfer list i've sold everybody i've pretty much made coins on every single card apart from maybe one or two but Mazuaku, i bought him for 1.8 sold for 2.1 he was pretty decent um i just i just didn't really have the right feel for the team that we used in the last episode so i definitely wouldn't recommend it but Pedin sold for 2.4 very nice menes went for 1.2 i think i bought it for like 950 thousand coins so that's not so bad braithwaite as well we didn't make any coins on braithwaite that's unfortunate but his stats look great but in game it was just a completely different story i thought he was going to be overpowered but it just wasn't the case i might try him again though on my main account we have siragu that went for 900 lost uh, coins on him because i purchased him for 950 we've got forestieri i i shouldn't have i shouldn't have actually listened him up for that cheap 2.9 2.8 because he started to drop in price a little bit 3.2 but i've made profit on every single one like over maybe 3,000. 4,000 coins, which is fantastic. Kolozhi Jack also sold. Uh, Mokanjo, he was all right. He was all right, actually. He, he was pretty good in the air, but when it came to finishing, when you need someone to take a good touch to set up the shot, he was lacking with that. So it was a little unfortunate. Diara also sold. Alessandrini, Mariano, and we're still trying to sell Fabrini. This guy is so difficult to just get rid of. So many on the market. But anyway, all of that stuff has done. Let me clear the items so I don't huddle myself up let's meet the team right boys check this out it is looking pretty damn saucy i'm not gonna lie some of these players i do not know how they're gonna perform it's the first time me using pretty much every single one i haven't used anyone in the defense i haven't used anyone in the midfield i haven't used anyone in the attack okay 
Let's rephrase that. I haven't used anybody in this team, but I want to see how it goes. Oh no, till a lie, I have. I've used Dybala. I used him in foot draft and he's insane. So with him having seven contracts, we're going to get a lot out of uh, the card. 88 pace, 86 shot. It's just insane. We've also got Mares on the right. I think with his pace, it's going to be perfectly fine. 10 games as well, which is very nice. I picked up Gomez for seriously cheap. 900 coins. He's selling for around about 950, 1,000 coins. But look at these stats. Although he is five foot five which is it is small there's no there's no question about that he's a tiny player but four star skills four star weak foot he could be really good and nifty so i'm not i'm liking the look of him we also brought in fernandez for was it 750 or 850 he, he sells for around about there he's got 69 pace i think if he had 70 pace the card will look so much better but he has some good well balanced stats and he can also win back the ball we have drink water that he is going to be going up without a doubt a very good holding center mid 1800 coins he's selling for about 2k we also got delphin here that i wanted to bring him in because of the high to high work rates and in this formation is really ideal to have someone like that and he just has some nice well balanced stats not really particularly good in anything apart from dribbling but like i said well balanced right back position we have a tried and tested damian really do like him he's just got that five star weak foot makes him dangerous for crossing it in but yeah he's he's a pretty good player i picked up this guy he, he's a good link to like if you were wanting to build a cheap La Liga and also Premier League side, Hernandez would be a really good option for that because he's Spanish. He's got some nice stats, high defensive work rates. Like, he looks perfect, really. Do like the look of him. And then in goal, we have Victor Valdez from Middlesbrough. Uh, speed, slightly on the slow, uh, low, slow, uh, low side, but yeah, overall he looks good. Felipe Luis and also Jimenez in the uh, centre-back position. So, guys... I've also been playing around with tactics. If you missed my video the other day, then make sure to check it out. But this is how you get there. You press Y or triangle if you're on PlayStation. You can only do it on new gen or next gen, like X, uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So you go to custom tactics, and this is how I'm setting out my team. Speed 66, passing 50. Um, all of this as well is in my video, but if you want to pause this one and go check that out and i'll explain it in further detail but right now we need to go and get ourselves some wins in division and then in the next episode i'm thinking what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a team together with marco royce and i'm actually going to try and find one of the foot champions daily tournaments to enter and see how well we do there but we are still in division nine we've had a couple of losses on the way but i am still learning i'm getting used to the game but like i said without further ado let's move in and get this win. I've also forgot to mention, I did in fact go and purchase Ben Yedda. We'll have a look at him after this game, but we're up against an incredible 4-2-3-1 side with Thiago Silva, Ben Arthur, Di Maria. Oh my. This guy is a good, this guy is a good player. He's, he's passing it very well. We've got Dybala making a run though. He is seriously quick when he's in behind like this. That is good movement from him. If we can lay that across. Oh, nearly, nearly. Oh, he's finding a lot of space in my box. Watch that. Oh, it's an easy goal. Easy goal. Terrible. That's better dribbling. Can we find him through? Good ball. Finish. Oh, once again, another episode where we're finding ourselves in incredible positions, but we can't put the ball in the back of the net. Not too sure. That was a perfect pass. And that should have been a goal. Great save. Good challenge from Felipe Luis. If we can find him. Scoop turn. Finish. Again, another last-ditch block. He's had a lot of possession, but when we've been in behind, we've had good goal-scoring opportunities, but his defense and his team in a 4-2-3-1 formation is seriously strong. But we're going to keep going and try and power through. Keep Carry that run, carry that run. Let's get a little bit more direct with our play right now. That's a good hold-up play from Dybala. Lovely pass through to Drinkwater. Can we finish that? That's a penalty. There you go, out wide. That's it, go on, Delph. That's it, power down the line. Good turn inside. That was a fantastic turn of pace. I and mean, you've got an overlapping run there. Oh, it's Gomez. I mean, we're lacking quality. We're lacking quality in the attack. That's what it is. It's finishing our chances right now. Because building up play, it's perfectly fine. Give it to him. Give it through to Dybala. One touch finish. Oh, he doesn't need to have a touch. What a lovely goal. And I'm telling you, our attack is awesome. Our link up play, it's just taking the chances. We honestly, hand on heart, which side? We should be 3-1 up. But he is, he's defending well and he's got an incredible side. I have just scored and now for some reason I've got an injury. I don't even have a centre back on the bench. Oh, Van der Horn. He's slow though. Oh, he's still Premier League. Oh, nice. Oh, but now for the next game we're not going to have a centre back. Dear, oh dear. 
Come on, Jimenez. Good stuff from... No way. Excuse me, Lacazette. How have you got through? If he scores, great save from Valdez. But that was deserved because I have no idea how Lacazette got around me. Whoa, what's happened there? Look at that part of the bus. Oh, I'm just going to take the shot. Mares. Oh, what a save. But look at that. He's on part of the bus. And it's so undeserved. This one has been very frustrating for me because we've, we've done enough to win the game. And there we go. We've actually lost another game in our Road to Glory series, which I'll be honest, we could have done a little bit better in the attack. Not going to lie there. But we did do enough to win that game. But I don't know what happened with the actual second goal that he scored. First of all, he was down the line with Lacazette. Made a clean tackle with Jimenez. Then, for whatever reason, the ball went straight on. And then Lacazette ran around me. And then, from there, it just led to rebounds. It was just awful. But, once again, we lose the game. And I feel hard done by it. I've got to be honest. So, one thing I started to notice, and it's injuries. On my main account, they're happening pretty much every other game. Well, practically every game. Because if it's not me getting injured, it's my opponent. And there we go. We've got one with Hernandez. How long is he out for? Four matches. Matches. Are you kidding me? So now we've lost our center back. We're when it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Let me tell you. So if we drop in 54 pace, we don't really want to be using that. Uh, I think I'm going to go out and actually purchase the healing card. Upper body four matches. Let's go and search on the market and see if we can find one. Like how much is that going for? 350 coins. I'll take that. I'll take 350 coins. Is it that one was 250? Oh, that's 350. That's all good. We're going to win this one? Yeah, hopefully we do win this one for 350, but it's just annoying. It's another method for EA to make coins. Oh, someone's outbid me. I wonder if we can find one on the market for... How much How much are they usually? Look, that, that one there is for 150. Let's, let's bid 250, see if we can scare people off. See, all of these, you've got to be careful. I could probably make coins on them. Let me go, tr let me go buy all these up. Oh, no. <laughs> no, he's... I've been outbid. Oh, if I get that one for 250, that's pretty good. No, stop bidding me. No. I, how many people are bidding? This is ridiculous. And that one's for 1,000. So I wonder if I'm going to win one. If I win these two, that would be awesome. So basically, if I do in fact get this one in the club, we've paid for itself if we manage to set it on for 650. Wow. So guys, you've just seen a live trading tip. 800 coins? Are you actually kidding me? How come we've just got these for 200? Fuge, I'm a trader. I'm a trader at heart. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to store one into the club. Oh, I've been outbid. Oh no, that's... Whew, I thought I lost them. So I'm going to store this plus four and use it for... Why isn't it working? It's so delayed. So I use that one for Hernandez or Fernandez. Was it Hernandez or Fernandez? I think it was Hernandez. And then I'm going to sell this one for start price. Uh, I'll sell that one for 800. Well, no, 750 to bring a few more people in. Maybe bidding wars will start, but that's not bad, man. Live trading tip. So there we go. It's all sorted, but I want to give you my thoughts on the actual team itself and what I'm feeling from it. Like defensively, it was okay. It was pretty decent. In the midfield, I'm noticing more and more that when I'm using better dribblers of the ball that can really shield it, it's much more effective for my strikers to allow them to get into better positions than passing the ball. Because with these guys, although Hernandez is okay, they're just not the best of, of dribblers. So I should really be bringing in players to, to suit that. Like, Adelph was pretty good, actually. Drink water wasn't so bad. He missed a couple of opportunities, though. Should have scored uh, Dybala as well. So all of them need to step it up in this next game. We need to get ourselves a win because we've had draw, uh, a loss, a draw, a loss, a couple of losses. Not good. Let's get a win. We're up against ballers and another solid side. Where are all the starter squads at? Why does everyone have so many coins these days? Like with Michi, Welbeck, Firmino, it's a very, very solid Premier League side. So it's going to be difficult to break down. But 4 1 2 1 2, I really dislike it. It's sketchy. So maybe there will be a lot of space in the midfield. There is a lot of space right now. And it's. Oh, finish that. No, get the rebound. Please stop doing this to me. Pass it across. Oh, he's giving that ball straight to Delft. Delft with the shot. Another last ditch tackle. Yeah, Felipe Luis. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a good corner. And we've scored the goal. Now, this is a good start. Three minutes, 25. Oh, that feels good. That's it. Turn him. Turn him. Dybala. Finish that, please. 
He needs to, I need to be doing better there. I don't know if it's me. Probably is me. But Dybala, man, he's seriously overpowered and he has to score that. Oh, drink water with a great turn there. Playing Tamares. Nice little pullback. We can find him through. Good link up play. Dybala, shoot across goal. And again, Butland. I've actually been told Butland is a seriously good keeper. And he's actually in the catalogue to get him on loan. So it may be uh, in your best interest to try and get him, get him in your club. Because he seriously is overpowered right now. Go on, another corner goal. Finish it. Oh, he saved it again. Oh my god. Literally is a beast, man. How has he saved that? Oh, Felipe Luis. Oh, good challenge. That's it. Mares with a good skip and then put it through. Good turn from Drinkwater. Oh, he skied it. We are, we're not clinical enough. That is what I'm finding in the first game and also the second game. Could be down to the players though. Well, Drinkwater isn't the best of finishes, but should have been a goal. Half time it is, guys, and a much better performance. As we can see, 60% on the possession, 90 pass accuracy. The team is flowing and it's just taking our chances in the final third. So I'm very happy. Let's uh, get into the second half I like that. Oh, he's giving it away. If we can find a one-two, that's good stuff. Shoot it. Oh, now that is the quality coming into play right there. Dybala with his weak foot. Nice and patient. That's it. Great dribbling from Gomez. Just to hold it up a little bit. Then we can find that guy. And then we can play it through. Flick it around the corner. Mares with a finish. And that's easy. Just exactly like that. Instead of rushing and doing ping pong passes, just use LTRT. Hold it up a little bit. Allow your attackers to get into good positions and score easy goals. Look at the pace from Welbeck. Great defense though. No. Damn. I thought I just caught him at the right time. And, and it, I didn't come away with the ball from the first tackle. So it's a little awkward. I haven't even been booked. I, I was here. I thought I made the tackle, but it wasn't clean enough. Uh, let's have a look at is the penalties. They can't be worse than mine. I've noticed actually that you can like... Oh, hold on. Hey! Oh. Brilliant. So it was much better. I think one of the best formations... Oh, great link up play. Absolutely fantastic. And Dybala. Oh, heavy touch. But it's because I was like sort of trying to contest for the ball there with that defender. But I have noticed that because this guy isn't using the 4-2-3-1 formation, there is so much more space to run into and just play about. And that's that's what I like. I personally think that 4-2-3-1 wide is honestly the best formation to use on the game. He's had enough. He's rage quit. But it's kind of stupid because one, he was in the 90th minute. Second, because of that rage quit, he doesn't get any coins. And third, he basically gets a DNF. 731 coins. That's great. That is actually very nice. And are we going to get promoted or go for the title? Uh, six, uh, six points, five games remaining. I'm sure we're going to get promoted and that, give, that will give us another bit of coins. So yeah, good result. So what did I say 15 minutes ago? Injuries happening pretty much every single game. Once again, we've got a player that's picked up a knock and it is Delph. Defensively, he was sound. Going forward, he could improve a little bit, but I actually really do like the feel of him. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to drop him to the bench. How long is he out for though? Two, man two matches upper body. Was that the same injury that we had with Fernandez? Is it Fernandez or Hernandez? It's Fernandez, isn't it? We've got two Fernandez. No, yes, yeah, Fernandez and that one's Hernandez. <laughs> oh, I keep muddling them up. But what I forgot to show you is Ben Yedda. I did go out and purchase him for 2,000 coins. I'm hearing a lot of good things about him. And as you know, if you are a fan of my road to glory, I brought him in and he was just insane. The non-rare beast. A lot of people were saying, why do you keep using Ben Yedda? He's not that good. He was insane. And he got himself a team of the season. And that was just incredible. But 2,000 coins paid. I think he will eventually go up maybe to 2.53k. So it could be a good investment. But right now, what I'm going to do is... I know we don't really have the luxury to be bringing in expensive players. And we shouldn't be wasting our coins like this. But for the final game, I'm going to go on the market and bring in an English centre mid. So that looks all good. Let's search up Premier League centre mids. Now, I'm looking for that box-to-box -box type player. Henderson, does he have high tie work rates? He would be perfect. Unfortunately, he is not selling for 5,000 coins. To be fair, 5,000 coins isn't a bad isn't a bad price. We could afford him. Let's go and see, actually, if we can pick Henderson up for cheap. Because he is a player that should rise on Friday, especially with so many Liverpool fans as well. So, um, that should be good. It should be only Henderson there. Oh, and Milner. Why is Milner? Even Milner, actually. We could go for Milner. Oh, Lalana. No, we want Henderson. 3,900 coins. 3,900. So that looks like his limit. 
I'm gonna have a look again. I'll just search for him, Henderson. Sorry if this takes too long. I probably should cut it, but maybe you guys like to see the live aspect of things of me showing you how I'm going about purchasing players. 4,000 coins, 3,900. Well, if he's going 4,000 coins, I'll bid on this one. 4,000 coins. I could see him going for 4.55k when the full release is out in the UK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I wonder if I can get that one for cheap as well. Just because it doesn't have any contracts, no one really wants to go for it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll bid, I'll bid for him. So I'll be right back uh, once if I get these players or they expire. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute. So the first one actually went for 4,100 coins. So I ignored that, moved on to the next and got it for 4,000. Now you're probably thinking, oh, you've only saved 100 coins. But when you're coming to sell that player, that actually makes up for the EA tax. So you'll be making 100% profit. And I honestly think Henderson is going to be going for around about 4,000 to 5,000 coins, uh, 4,500 to 5,000 coins once a Friday hit and and then I got this one for 3,700 so it doesn't have any contracts but what I'm gonna do is instead of me trying to sell him straight away I'm gonna bring him into my club I'm gonna go and apply one of those trans uh, untradeable sorry untradeable contracts on him then I'm gonna list him up for maybe 4,000 4,300 bin maybe 4,200 bin and I hope that he actually in fact sells because he's, he's a good player, you know. I'm sure people will want him. Like I said about Liverpool fans, there are tons on the game. And they will want to purchase a full Liverpool side. So, contracts. I don't really want to be using a gold one. I'm sorry, Henderson. Only one will do. Uh, let's use that one. One will do. Because it just doesn't have the, the symbol to suggest that he's out of contracts. Because many people don't even check that. So, I bought him for 3,700. I'll list him for start price. 4,000 and been 4,200. So that, that'd be a little bit of a tidy profit there. So just me going out and wanting to be bringing in a player, I found one that I can trade with. So I, I suggest you guys do it as well. It just took five seconds for Henderson to sell. Now I could have probably got a little bit more for him, but if you're someone that is sitting there wanting to trade every single day, bit by bit, a little profit means you can go and purchase more cards. And I did say that in my last episode, and it is true. 4,200, nice profit right there. Fabrini still can't sell him. I'll do my best, but let's move back into the team. Henderson, where are you? There you are. He does actually look really good. So I'm happy I've managed to purchase a better player. So basically we did get ourselves an injury but now we've managed to bring in a slightly better center mid and the team is looking a lot better just with Henderson in there the only worry right now is I am down to 84 fitness I think that's kind of cut off point especially for attackers but we shall see what we can do in the last game of the episode we can do it. Come on. I am rocking the Mournflake cereal sponsor on my top. We've gone back to the black kit. I'm wanting to change up the kits, by the way, but I just don't want to spend any money. So hopefully we get some nice packs. But that's a pretty decent... Oh, no. Werner. He's got Werner. Well done, Damian. He's won it very, very close. High up the pitch. Put him through. Oh, oh my. I'm offside. Oh, I thought it was going to be an A's goal. What a weird decision that was. Was I offside? I don't think so. But if we can get that ball lofted. Oh, that's a lovely ball to attack. What a header from Dybala. What a beast, man. But I've noticed that I was under a little bit of pressure to start off with. But I was making the tackles and just wasn't coming away with the ball. But now I'm, I'm feeling like we're, we're settling down. That's a good goal. Good dribbling from Gomez. Oh, I actually really like him. He's not the well-rounded, like article but he's very nice go on go on Henderson oh Henderson oh Morris should have scored good work from Henderson though nice little debut he's having great challenge from Henderson very nice and solid thank you I'm actually quite pleased that he's good oh that through ball to Morris yes he is not missing that my camera always cuts out the worst moments just when we score there but what a lovely through ball that was that's it now we're starting to enjoy ourselves. You can see the confidence coming back into my play. Look at that. Unlucky. It is. It's coming back because now I'm settled down. I've got two goals. I'm not really worried about conceding. I just want to get more. If we can score a goal here, I'm going to loft that in. That's perfect. Another ball for us to attack. No. Oh. Play it back. Go back post. Big header. 
if it comes out to me, I was I was going to bang that on the volley. But a very, very good half. I feel so much better and confident in the side. And it's just playing well. It's a very well-balanced side. And I thought it was going to perform like that. It's just the first game we came up against a good opponent, a really strong formation, and a fantastic team. So, yeah, I'm happy. Just drink water. Find Mares running through. Look at that. Perfect time. Shall I go for a chip? Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> that, was, that was really nice. Mares, I've honestly fallen in love. This card is insane. He's dribbling. Oh, there we go. Another race crew. I was just about to say his dribbling is just perfect. He feels like Messi on the ball. 567, is that it? That's, that seems a little bit low. Oh, it's because we didn't finish the game. So, yeah, that's quite high. And we get ourselves nine points on the table. Four games remaining. I'm sure we're going to get promotion. That's a pretty decent episode. So before I wrap up the episode today, I just wanted to show you where I am with the squad building challenges. I do want to start completing some, but we don't really have that much depth at the club. So the first challenge I've pretty much completed. I may as well just submit that now. I'll be wanting a bronze pack. Yes, please. The second one I've also done. So let's just dismiss that. Two leagues, two nations, was it? Yeah, two leagues, two nations. It's looking a little bit crazy. Like you don't even need to put the correct like players in the positions that they are actually set as. Because look, centre back, left mid. As long as you've got some uh, nice amount of chemistry, and these bronze cards, we're never going to use them. Most of them are untradeable, so it gives us a, a nice pack. And in that pack, I don't know whether or not it's just oh, it's one. Pr premium bronze players pack so we could get some really good bronze cards we have um i think it's emre moore as well like he's really expensive but i doubt we're that lucky and the last one i haven't got the correct team yet is, is a little bit all over the place i need 65 chemistry so we'll just wait to see what we receive from the packs but with those two packs let me go and open them to finish off the episode but if you have been enjoying uh, the series so far please do drop a like if you've missed any of the episodes i will have in the comments uh, not in the comments in the description a link to the playlist so you guys can catch up but bronze players pack let's open it hazard on the front what's it going to give us right back is he pacey uh he looks all right actually doesn't look too bad i like that badge though it looks pretty good does it have sparta written all over it oh are these untradeable let's check oh no i didn't mean to yeah, they're untradeable. So we may as well just store them into the club because they're going to help with uh, future squad building challenges. And then the last one, premium premium pack. Well, it's given us a rare, a centre back. He's got to be fast. Oh, he's slow. Oh, I think I've already got him, actually. It hasn't given me a duplicate. No, it hasn't. Oh, he doesn't look too bad. Um, anyone else? That, nah, I just use them. Oh, he he's pretty decent, 80 pace, but I can't sell him on anyway. So there we have it, guys. That is going to be it for today's episode. Um, in the next one, I'm going to be building a team around, I'd say, Marco Ruiz. With the side, actually, I think I'm just going to sell it. I'll sell it later. Yeah, Henderson sold. So, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you want to recommend me anything to do as well, like building teams, if you've got any players that you've been using, like cheap beast ones that I can sort of incorporate into a squad builder that they are cheap, let me know in the comments. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Team out, boys.